Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to the Deadliest Catch for yet another episode. Don't forget to hit like with this one if you want to keep seeing episodes of the Deadliest Catch and uh, to also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and don't forget you can also become a member of the channel if you so wish to uh, support the channel in that way. Uh, now, I streamed this, I streamed this about a week ago and um, or, or not long after my last episode and uh, we finished, during the stream we finished uh, episode, uh, well we finished season one, uh, not episode sorry, season one of the uh, of the fishing season. Uh, there, there was one thing that I did want to do, I, I wanted to know whether if we change ships, um, whether or not we could actually... Uh, whether or not that would actually um, uh, change our um, our loadout in regards to our crew and our nets and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, let's change that and see what happens. But it doesn't look like there's any uh, doesn't look like there's any nets on uh, any uh, pots on board or anything. But then I don't think the uh, I don't think the White Star had anything on board either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick test of this and uh, set sail. All right. Uh, I'm not sure whether you have to have to actually buy extra crab pots and stuff for, for, for each ship or whether you can just change over. And it looks like you can just change over, which is actually pretty awesome. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do now, we do have extra crew as well. So that's, uh, that's worth noting. Uh, go through the door. There we go. We'll go and sit down here and we will check out where we're going. Let's have a look. Uh, there's a thunderstorm. There's a big storm out here as well. I do at some point want to check out, um, want to check out, see if we can come across another boat. Now, we, we're going to need a nice place to, uh, to, to throw some crab and it looks like this is going to be lovely up here. So we're going to head out here. Uh, it's going to take us, uh, it's 493 kilometers out there, which should be okay. And we've got plenty of fuel, so uh, we will go out here now. Let's get down, let's get our guys on, oh crap. Oh bugger, all right, okay. So there we go, we don't have our crew on board. All right, maybe we lose our, maybe we actually lose our crew uh, when we finish off the season. So we'll check that out, um, which... If that's, a, if that's the case, it's going to be an absolute pain in the butt because you're going to have to make sure you've got plenty of um, uh, plenty of money left. So let's finish the season, except... All right, yep, no worries. Let's start a new season, and it looks like we're probably going to have to go through and hire everybody again. Okay. So... Do we have crew? No, we don't have any crew. All right, well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Because now we're going to have to go and rehire all of our crew, so... Oh, well, we'll do it. We've got, uh, what have we got, $13,000 because we had to pay some fines, so we're only going to get two crew members. We're going to have uh, uh, Harry Sorter, yes, okay. Uh, we are going to hire Stanley Salmon, yes. Okay, and we are going to hire Kurt Peterson as well. All right, there we go. Crew have been hired for the season. So I guess it kind of does make sense a little bit, doesn't it? So we should be able, <laughs> we should be able to get going again now anyway. Uh, after all of that messing around, we'll at least get some pots out. So let's see if we can change ships again into the... Uh, let's go into the King Crab set sail we do have our crew as soon as we get on board we will check to make sure that we have our crew or oh, it's a bit yes we do all right lovely let's uh let's head upstairs and uh we'll jump in here and we'll have a look at our map let's have a look at our map i think it was up here somewhere that was going to be really good really about 5.8 degrees i reckon that's a perfect spot right there to catch crab all right, let's get everybody on. Uh, let's see, who have we got? So uh, we're going to have Stanley Salmon putting the pot on and launching the pot. We're going to have Harry Sorter preparing the... Uh, no, we'll have Kurt Peterson preparing the pot. Let's put him on pot setting. Uh, let's throw 
three into that and uh, we'll watch these guys and see how they go it's a little bit uh, a little bit stormy out here do we have any other ships near us not at this point in time but at some point we are all we are going to um, that's what we need to do we need to put somebody uh, on uh, bait preparation yes all right beautiful there we go. But at some point in time, I am going to go over to some... Because uh, you can actually now um, accidentally pick up other people's... Uh, other boats' um, crab pots. You can also see other boats out in the water. But uh, finding them out here is going to be really difficult. So we might head over to some pots when somebody's laying pots and see if we can actually find another boat out here. I'd be really interested to see. All right, what's going on? Why have they bummed out? What's going on? Uh, pot preparation. Uh, grinder is not empty. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just get you off there and see if that's what's bugging you out. No. Something's bugging them out. Something is bugging them out. All right, let's see if we can uh, head down here and do it ourselves. Oh, goodness me, we played, we actually played um, for, whoa, must have been a couple of hours. We actually played for a couple of hours the other day, and uh, we didn't have an issue at all. So, I don't know why this is actually an issue. Uh, let's see, we're going to have to do it ourselves. We're going to have to close the pot. Okay, now for some reason... He's happy to be trying to do that now. So, there's one pot in the ground, guys. We are moving along at uh, at three notches on the throttle. Okay, this is coming around. Okay, at least it's gone down to there. Hopefully they don't drop it down again. Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it? It's a bit silly. Alright, come on guys, you can do it, you can do it, because we did, like, a couple of hours, seriously guys, a couple of hours we played the other night, and it only bugged a couple of times, so, interestingly enough, um, yeah, so he's bugging out on doing that, alright, okay, it looks like it's, it looks like it's up to me, guys, looks like it's up to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him off of uh, I'm going to take him off of that uh, pot preparation. Yeah, you know you're useless. All right, let's uh, lower that. Beautiful. All right, I shall do all of this myself. All right. <laughs> it seems a bit of a waste having all these crew and uh, and still having to do it yourself. But anyway. All right, I'm going to get these in, guys. I'm going to get these pots in, and we'll see how we go. And uh, what we're going to try and do is stay out for as much of the season as we possibly can, just running pots, and that's it. So uh, won't be dropping back to shore again. Was dropping back to shore quite a bit because... Um, is he going to throw another one on there? It's on there. Uh, because I was trying to, uh, during season one, because I was trying to build up my crew and stuff like that. So every time I had some money, then uh, off I would go. So let's close that off. Uh, so this time we're going to stay out here for as much as we possibly can. This is the first time in this run now that, um, that we've been out in some pretty bad weather. So, which is pretty cool and pretty exciting. He's dropping bait on the ground after he fills up the bait things, so... I don't know whether that's a bug. We could try that out by uh, picking that up and putting it back in there. We might have a uh, never-ending thing of bait now, guys, by the looks of it, so... Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last pot. Yes, it is. All right, I'm looking forward to getting a, a full boat of pots. I really am. Uh, there you go, and lid closed, and off it goes. There we go, perfect. All right, put these guys on rest now. 
There we go. There's no crab pot. Uh, they're all resting now. Uh, we might throw him on pot preparation as well and see if that actually works next time. For our pickup, I think we will go... Uh, Harry sort of was doing an alright job catching it. Uh, attaching it to there. Actually, throwing out crabs. Put uh, Kurt Peterson on attaching the pot. And... Harry Sorter at storing the pot because he should already be, be there. So, uh, who is the best crab sorter? I'm going to try Kurt Peterson out as a crab sorter. Uh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, let's head back up to the bridge. There we go. And uh, we'll see what we're like here. There we go. So you can turn right around in this one, but you can't turn right around in uh, in the white uh, the white star or whatever it's called. All right, let's have a look at the map here. So we've got uh, pots out for six minutes. We've got other ships coming out. Uh, they still haven't left port there either. So that's going to be interesting to see what they're doing. Uh, let's give it a bit of a turnaround. We'll see if we can bring this boat around, line ourselves up, and then we will wait to reel these pots in. All right, we uh, it's, uh, we we have waited. Now we were we were waiting ten hours uh, when we were streaming the other night, and we were getting full pots. So let's turn the engine on. There it goes. Let's uh, start running this up. We'll get, uh, there we go, we'll get two notches up there. We will get all of the crew on board for pot collecting. And uh, we're going to see how they go. Let's see how they go now. What would you guys prefer? Would you you guys prefer that, uh, that we do this um, uh, from in first person inside the bridge here? Or would you prefer an external view of the ship? External view is actually pretty cool in this weather, isn't it? So I don't know why these guys aren't actually out on deck. I can't see them out on deck for some reason. Maybe they won't come out until we have a pot in range. I don't know, but we're soon going to find out anyway. Well, it's a bit rough out here. It's going to be a bit rough for them while they're, uh, while they're pulling all this stuff up. Most definitely, we're going to have to upgrade this ship as well. Probably at the end of this season, we'll do a we'll do a full season first, and we'll see how we go. Now, if we were back inside, how would we go? Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad at all. All right, I'm just going to slow him down a little bit. Here he goes. There we go. All right now, should we should be able to roll through if if we've rolled. Uh, at speed 3 dropping these out, then I'm hoping that we'll be able to roll through at speed 1 uh, and pick these up and actually keep moving. So, looks like we've got some good crab on board there. That is awesome. Alright, so are these guys doing alright? We've only got two guys hauling these in, so let's see how they go. So I don't know why he has to move up there to dump the crabs. So what we might do is we might change them around. If I've got, uh, I don't have Stanley Salmon. I've got uh, Kurt Peterson. Yeah, no, that should be all right. There we go. Beautiful. Now they'll start. Uh, they'll start doing some sorting. Put that away, and then by the time they've put that away, we should be okay at the next pot. And it looks like we're going to be all right at that speed. So placing them at uh, at a speed of three or three notches. I'm not sure how many kilometers an hour that is. And then uh, and then picking up uh, at a speed of one. It looks like it's probably about right. So looks like it's starting to calm down out there. And there he goes. Beautiful. 
All right, now it seems like I've got some sort of system happening, which is pretty cool. Uh, while he's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump out and uh, just going to head downstairs. See if I can uh, gauge how many crab we did get in that. Let's see, we've got 10 in there. Uh, it's 30, 33, 30, 43, so we didn't get full crab. We're definitely not getting full crab. What I do need to do is I need to throw somebody on... Uh, somebody on deck cleaning. Hmm. I reckon Stanley Salmon can go on deck cleaning. Okay, so we're nearly at the next one. What I'm going to do is we're not getting full crab here. For some reason, so it's not going to be a super haul. So I might actually, uh, I might actually pull this up and see if I can wait a little bit longer than 10 hours. Alright, they're doing their work. While they're doing that, we're going to rest for another three hours. There we go. Alright, and hopefully we'll be alright going through there. Okay, I'm also going to have to, uh, I'm also going to have to go down and do some, uh, do some sorting down here. Whereabouts is our, uh, pot? It's in here. Uh, where's our tote? Right there. I've got three totes on board, so that's pretty cool. Let's grab those. Grab the good crab and throw them in there. Grab those. Throw those overboard. Have we got the next one coming in? It looks like it's coming in now. Now, what we're supposed to be able to do is grab those fish and put them in here. But it doesn't seem to do anything, so... Which is a bit of a pain in the bottom. Alright, back up to the uh, bridge. And we should be okay. He should kick into gear any moment now. There he goes. All right, lovely. So at least this is working out. Now, it will be nice to see what we actually get in this one as well. So I'm going to jump out and I'm going to head back out. I can almost smell the salty sea. Was there no, there was no crabs on there. There's no crab in there at all. Oh, this is going to be a failure, isn't it? Bugger. Damn it. Turn some lights on so that these guys can see what they're doing. That would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright, so 10 hours as opposed to 14 hours maybe, but we weren't getting full pots. Maybe I've picked a really, really bad area to drop pots. gonna get that did he get it no he didn't no I'm gonna have to reverse up so that he can get it now there he goes did he get that one no yes he did beautiful all right that was a bit of a failure, wasn't it? Uh, are we go do we have crab in here? That's the question. Nope. Empty. Empty. Whew. This is going to make this season pretty hard, isn't it? It's going to make it very hard indeed. Okay, guys. Super disappointing run. We got absolutely nothing in the rest of these cages. This one here is the last one, so... Uh, I'm guessing that we're going to have absolutely nothing in here either. So uh, I don't know. It, it must it must be just be a bad place for crab. It must be a very bad place for crab. Maybe it was a bit too warm or a bit too shallow. I don't know. But uh, let's see what we've got coming up here. Absolutely nothing again. All right. So we'll let these guys put all of this stuff away. And uh, what we will do... Um, see, I can't, nobody else has got any pots out. 
nobody else has any pots out at all at this particular point in time so um now this has been a good area through here uh, 67 meters, 4.2. Maybe we're just too shallow here, 19 meters and sandy. Maybe that's what it is. So we might head down to the 67 meters down there. Is he going to put that away or what? Yeah, he is putting it away. There we go. So uh, what we're going to do next episode, guys, is uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, spin this ship around a little bit, is uh, we're going to head down and see if we can actually drop some pot in a better place and see what we can actually get next time but uh thanks for watching this episode if you liked it please hit like if you haven't subscribed to the channel definitely subscribe and uh, i will see you guys in the next episode when hopefully we get more than 201 kilos of crab but uh thanks for watching bye